thing. Exactly. You're hearing that very and, catered And that needs to sound. be the difference with Moomatone, where it's like, even if Moomatone is played at a festival, it needs to be, okay, this is the Moomatone stage. Like, this is the best of the best. And not just like, in the parking lot, in the fucking corner, somewhere like, because that's disrespectful. Like, save that shit for the guy who's never DJed before or, you know, like security guard who DJs part time and he's like checking tickets at the same time. Like, don't do that shit. Like, but right. how selection moves and, and they're, I'm not saying we need to do what they do, but like how their grassroots, they're their own thing. They don't play by anybody's rules. Like, that's what Mumatone needed and, and it still needs, you know, it needs to be outside of whatever else everybody else is doing you know like needed and had that opportunity and that ball was dropped for I'll sure it. for sure a hundred percent but but that's what happens when i would say politics egos and you lose the love like not yeah. everybody you know not everybody is built to like through thick and thin, I'm fucking pushing this and, I, and that's it. I'm not like, I will wave the flag till I die. Like not everybody is built like that, bro. Like even I had to step away. I had to step away because it's like, all right, nobody is, is going to let me get to that next level. You know, they're saying Mumatone is not a thing. You know, people were like, fuck genres and like switching and, you know, oh, I, I make everything, you know, like that, like there's a lame excuse. It's a lame excuse. Just say, yo, nobody wants to book me as a Mumatone act, so I'm going to make everything. You know, like I, that conversation could go for me. Everybody was like, oh, but you're making trap. I was a hip hop producer before I fucking ever made electronic music. You know, like people got to say, yo, I'm, I'm 40, going to be 42. I started making hip hop beats in 1996 up until I was like 24 years old. You know, like, so I spent half of my career as a producer making hip hop. So trap was an easy thing for me, you know, to gravitate to. But like, Moomatone was and still is my love in music, you know, like it's where I feel the most free as an artist. Like there's, there's no boundaries. There's no fucking rules. And I've done enough that like, I have my own template, like, and it's, it's never the same, you know, but like I make my own rules with my music, you know, and that's fucking great. You know, like being able to just make your shit freely and fucking put it out, have people love it, have people hate it is a fucking awesome thing. Like, it's a fucking blessing, you know, because you're being creative. Like, it's just, you're getting your energy out there. You're doing what you want to do. But when you play the game and you're, oh, well, we got to make music that sounds like this in order to play this. And maybe we have to tone it down. Like, I've played shows with fucking house artists where the fucking manager is telling us to tone it down, yet the crowd is going fucking nuts and we're not even playing the same type of music. Like we're sitting here playing 110 BPM. The crowd is losing their fucking mind. And it was like, it was in Orange County. What else shows in Orange County were playing there? They're fucking losing their mind. We're direct support to a fucking house artist. And I forget his name. I would name him if, if, if you guys know in the comments, fucking write it down. But I forgot. And his manager told our manager, hey, can you tone it down a little bit? You know, like our guy's going to come on, blah, blah, blah. We're not even playing the same music. We told him no. We, we literally <laughs> told him no and fucking played more bangers. And again, there's a difference. Like if we were a house artist playing fucking house music, I get it. We shouldn't have been doing that. But like Moon is universal, bro. Everybody loves the shit. They whether they know what it is or not, you know? Like the vibes are fucking there. So like just make what you want to make, bro. Do what you want to do as far as music and be a community. Like that's the biggest thing. We have to be a community. Like this is why I'm reaching out to everybody. This is why I'm doing the deconstructors. This is why I'm doing the artists to watch. This is the why I was doing the interviews on Amazon. It's like, because it's about community. It's about documenting these things so people know. So the next generation who is not like the blog era is gone. So the kids are not right, seeing right, the right, next right. artist. You know, like it might be on TikTok. It might be on Twitter. It might be on SoundCloud, but it might not. Might be on YouTube. You know, it might be on YouTube. And that's why we're on YouTube. We're fucking documenting these guys who are doing cool shit that 10 years from now, somebody's going to find them for the first time and go through that rabbit hole and find all their music and learn more, excuse me, and learn more about their favorite artists. And, you know, we helped that. We pushed that along. And, and it didn't put a million dollars in my pocket, but it helped the fucking community right, go further. Right. You know, like. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I would love to see it thrive, man. I would love to see it come together. And and one thing that I want to really call back to, and and the people who know, if you know, you know. But 
there was a time where like pre TikTok, pre Twitter even, or maybe not Twitter's been around forever, but there was a time where like the Moonbatone movement and that Moonbatone community existed in a space in a very specific Moonbatone and Moonbacore Facebook group. Yeah. And that to me was the height of community for Moonbatone. It was. It was. 100%. Everybody was in there. Smaller, smallest names artists to, to the, the biggest, biggest. named artists. Everybody was in there sharing music, communicating, collaborating, having conversations, like giving each other props, like proper like feedback. Proper feedback. Real feedback. Yeah, dude, that's amazing because I totally forgot about that. And that... Totally forgot about that. Slowly fizzled away, got toxic. Mo the and then it just Even the moderators were fucking toxic it on that It just got shit. toxic after. And then the fake accounts on there and the people pretending to be other people. But dude, that was... It was the That height. was peak Moomatone community. And that's like... Because that's like me and EJ stumbled into it 2012, 2011. Yeah. And then we're in there 2012, 2013, and it was just like, man, this is this feels really good. And that's, I met so many people. I connected. I made so many friends, people that I still know today, like, across the fucking world through that community, through that Facebook group, right? And now we don't have anything that exists like that. So I'm hoping that we can cultivate that. Maybe it looks like, like what we're doing here, but maybe maybe there's potential for us to even create a Moombatone Discord. I know the kids you, the kids love Discord. <laughs> I don't yeah. I, I, I think I have a Discord, but like one. maybe that's where we could bring the community together. And everybody just fucking get in there and just keep sharing. Maybe each other that's shit. what we could do. That's the biggest thing. And like that again, it's just like a centralized place, not like you got to go searching for new Moomatone. You have to fucking look up the hashtag on IG and TikTok and YouTube and SoundCloud. And like maybe you'll strike gold, but 85% of it's going to be that pop garbage bullshit that they play at H&M. But if we, if, if y'all are down, if, if folks are down, we can really create a discord, bring the community really together. Try to do it again because that was... That was the the best that it felt. Like that really was. I agree, man. I totally forgot about that until you mentioned it. That that was such a fucking like. I think I want to say the first time. The first time we posted something in there was Akuye, and that was yeah. because he <laughs> because he knew uh, he knew Nada already, and he gave it to Nada, and Nada posted it on his blog. Mm, and yeah and that was when like if you posted something on your own blog and you were an artist like everybody ran to it they were like there was no other place to find music so they posted it on on their blog and it just went and that was the start and even that that was that was mr vega and mysterio that track before it was sauce on Buya. like that was the name of the song crazy throwback big yeah. throwback but that was the first introduction to that group and then from there it was you know the remixes and the first dp and you know and so on and so on but like compilations that was the easiest way to get on these compilations is because that facebook group you know like somebody would come in and be like hey we're doing a movement so you know submission send tracks here boom and instantly you know like it's a thing you know like it's kind of crazy i i think i have faith in what we're doing but the community also has to have faith in themselves a little bit and in each other. I'm not I'm not saying that we're like we're not better than anybody else. We're not we're not laying down the law on what this should be, what it shouldn't be. Like it's nothing like that. But if y'all wanna win, y'all gotta work together. That's the biggest thing. That's it. It's the fucking community, it's the sticking together, it's the fucking supporting, reposting fucking put put their song in your fucking story like shout out Doesn't your fucking hurt. friend tell people to follow like because at the end of the day it's a win for everybody it, it's a fuck this is what it is this is this is why this shit was started this shit was started in a fucking warehouse 
and look where it is now. Like it's it started in DC in a little pocket, and it's all over the world. It's transcendent. Like that that goes without saying. Whether people say Mumatone is dead and blah blah, like I talk to people from other side of the world, you know, who know who I am, who know the music, and who know who everybody is. And we've never been in the same place before. And again, yeah, of course, it's the internet. But just think about it. A piece of music was made. Like, no, not even. A genre was made in a pocket in D.C. and traveled the world. So there's no reason it's why. And yeah, it's infectious. And, and again, it's because of community that it got so far. So if we're, we're asking why it may be dead or it's whack or the scene and blah, 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 it's community. It all goes back to community. There is no community, then there's no music, you know? Because, yeah, your favorite artist is going to fucking make a Moon song because he feels like making a Moon song. Not because he cares about Moon so if you care about Moon you should be fucking with the people who care about Moon Not your favorite artist who makes it once every three years because he wants to, you know, get a pat on the back and a fucking a little hip. metal and, you know, like, oh, he's making Moon again. Fuck that guy, bro. Like, fuck that guy, man. He doesn't care. Like, he doesn't care. Why are you idolizing somebody who doesn't care about you? Right. No, you're right. 